Hi. The state of cyber threats today is significant and diverse. Many threats against an organization's data come from within, yet external threats are a rising concern. The digital transformation is having a major impact on how we do business, and today's customer-facing initiatives require strong security. The bottom line is that threats are increasing. When I began my career in data networking, the landscape was much different. Connectivity was the driving factor, not security. But today is different. Today's organizations are challenged with finding the threats as quickly as possible. The security analyst's job role is about discovering those threats. But how is that done? Where should you begin? How do network attacks occur, and how does malware obfuscate itself on a network? This course will answer these questions and provide you with an understanding of key concepts such as how cryptography works, what can be used to protect against threats at each phase of the attack continuum, and overviews of both the Windows and Linux operating systems from a security perspective. Welcome to Understanding Cisco Cybersecurity Fundamentals. My name is Brandon Carroll. I'm a Cisco instructor and CCIE 23837, providing consulting services to enterprise customers. I've had the privilege of being in this industry since the late 90s, and I focused on network security for the larger part of my career. If there's one thing I've learned in all my years, it's that cyber attacks are a moving target and will only continue to increase in their capability and scale. So as a network security professional, we have to be agile and quick to respond to these new and advanced threats. That journey begins now. Cybersecurity provides the critical foundation organizations require to protect themselves, enable trust, move faster, add greater value, and grow. Many organizations feel that their ability to innovate is hampered by their security concerns in the digital world. While research indicates that there will be a global shortage of 2 million cybersecurity professionals by 2019, this course helps bridge that gap by preparing individuals like yourself to take on the role of an analyst in a Security Operations Center, or SOC. After completing this course, you'll be well prepared to take the first exam of the CCNA CyberOps certification, and you'll have all the tools you'll need to function effectively as a Security Analyst team member. This course will help you to understand cybersecurity concepts and recognize specific network threats and attacks. It's designed to teach you how a network SOC works and how to begin to monitor, analyze, and respond to security threats. The job role for a security analyst varies from industry to industry, and private sector roles differ from public sector roles. The person taking this course should have some experience with Cisco IOS software, as well as an interest in becoming an analyst in a SOC. Does that sound like you? If so, you're in the right place. If you're not quite there yet, don't worry. Take a look at our other courses, such as ICND-1, ICND-2, and IINS. These courses will give you an introduction to Cisco IOS, as well as network security at the entry and associate level. To meet the course objectives, you should have a CCNA or equivalent knowledge. The CCNA can be obtained by taking the ICND-1 and ICND-2 courses and their corresponding exams. You should also have some understanding of Cisco security product features. This includes general knowledge of the Cisco ASA, iOS firewall, basic layer two security, and so on. The CCNA CyberOps expands on existing associate level certifications, which include the CCNA security designation, a certification that focuses on the network security administrator role. In addition, it would be beneficial if you have some understanding of open source and commercial network security tools, such as Aircrack, Ettercap, Scappy, Kali Linux, and other commonly used penetration testing tools. These applications run on Windows and Linux, and being familiar with both of these platforms is a must. We'll cover them in this course, but you should already be somewhat familiar with both. Finally, it's essential that you understand the OSI model and the TCP IP protocol stack. You should already have some knowledge in this regard. Being able to effectively work in the network SOC means that you have a solid understanding of cybersecurity. There's just no way around it. Having this solid understanding doesn't mean that you need to be an expert in all things security. 
What it means is that you need to understand a wide breadth of cybersecurity related topics and how they relate to the overall picture of protecting an organization's digital presence. The fact is, threats against today's modern networks pose a real problem and capable individuals are needed to fight against theft, data loss, and the like. This course will help you to become proficient in cybersecurity related activities as well as achieve the CCNA CyberOps certification. This course focuses on the role of the security analyst working in a network SOC which monitors systems and detects attacks. It introduces IT personnel to skills that are demanded of an analyst today and teaches you how responses to security incidents are coordinated. What are you going to learn in this course? We begin with the discussion of the TCPIP protocol suite. Having a solid understanding of this protocol stack is essential. It's used in nearly all of our network-based communication and parts of it are target for attack. We then turn our attention to the network infrastructure devices and how they're used, followed by a section on TCPIP attacks. After that, you'll learn about network applications and attacks against them, as well as some general information security concepts, such as how to risk analysis is performed, why and when to do a vulnerability assessment, and you'll also learn about compliance and security management. Areas that relate to cybersecurity include cryptography, which we'll cover, as well as other network security technologies like AAA, IPS, DNS security, and many more. After that, we're going to focus on the endpoint as we examine the Windows and Linux operating systems, attacks that target them, and technologies used to protect them. We'll wrap things up by learning about the extremely important area of security data collection and event analysis. Sometimes we end up with too little data to fully investigate a breach, and in other cases, many end up with a mountain of information and no idea where to begin. You'll want to pay close attention in these sections as they are extremely valuable skills for an analyst to possess. I know you're going to love this course. Be sure to practice by taking the challenges and complete the lab exercises in each section. When you've completed this course, you can continue to build your skills as a network security professional by viewing our other security related courses, starting with the CCNP Security Series. Enjoy.